Hey guys, it's Monday, which means it's time for another video. This one, I'm gonna be continuing with um, reviewing 80s horror films. Now, nobody really gave me, they didn't ask or um, request a movie for me, but I decided I'm gonna do this movie. Um, it is one of my favorite 80s horror films. It's actually in my top 10 favorite horror films of all time. When you hear about it, you might think it's kind of obscure to have on a top 10 favorite horror films of all time but I just really love this film and I actually only discovered it maybe like about a year or two ago on Shudder thank god for that and that is the film from 1984 The Mutilator and I adore this film this is by far one of my favorite horror films of all time I just love the deaths in this the scenery just it's a fun 80s horror film and if you haven't seen it Stop what you're doing, go watch it quick, or like stop right now, go watch it quick, and then come back to this review. Um, it's also, it, it also goes under another title called Fall Break, which in the beginning, some, uh, I know there's some cuts where the title screen is the mutilator, but then there's some cuts where it is, it is Fall Break. This one does show Fall Break, and, uh, if you look at this one, there's actually, hold on one second... Oh, they don't show... I know on the inside of this, the, this is the Arrow video release. Go pick it up if you if you haven't, because it's a good release. Uh, I know, I think underneath, like, all the discs and stuff, it does say Fall Break. There's actually a theme song for this film called Fall Break, and it's a, it's a cheesy 80s film, or cheesy 80s song, but it's good. I, I just love it. I actually uploaded that theme song on my channel if you want to check it out. Um... I actually got the chance on August of last year at my local drive-in. They do this thing every year called Camp Blood. And sometimes they get they get special guests and stuff. And last year they actually got the director and the special effects the special effects guy from this film to come to the drive-in because they are showing the mutilator at the drive-in which honestly it was like a once in a lifetime thing and I'm glad I saw that at the drive-in and I actually have a little something here this is a 45 sign that is signed by the special effects artist and then over here is signed by the director um Buddy Cooper and as you can see it does say fall break there's actually like like shirts that say fall break I know I call it um whatever like I usually I call it the mutilators because that's what I see it as on a lot of things but it is technically called fall break too so you can say whatever and you're really not wrong but I, I don't want to keep talking about that I want to talk more about the movie um it takes place right in the beginning this kid is cleaning his dad's gun and he accidentally kills his mom which is very very sad right away and you go further in the future further like a couple of years later the son oh sorry the son's older and you don't really hear from his dad anymore the dad kind of um he got all he doesn't really talk to his son as much but it turns out his dad kind of goes insane and kills all his friends because his friends come to his dad's like um ocean ocean front place and they basically die one by one and this has actually one of my favorite deaths in this i this will be spoilers which is why i said in the beginning stop what you're doing watch the film and then come back to this review um one of the deaths in this film really <laughs> went through me and that is when um the killer which is his the guy's dad he uh takes this uh like hook there like a harpoon type of hook thing i don't even know what the what what the hell to call this it's freaking scary looking that's all it is and um he takes this hook and sticks it in a like stabs it right through a girl's private area and to me that just went right through me because it reminded me it kind of reminded me of like in friday the 13th part four when that guy got stabbed by the like the by the like harpoon gun thing in the balls <laughs> that's kind of what it reminded me of but vice versa with a girl instead of a guy and i just thought that was hardcore and just to me the special effects were done very brilliantly and just all to get like i just really love this film it's just a fun 80s slasher film like i said if you haven't checked it out you should really check it out because you're really missing out 
people will probably will be like, why is this in your top 10 horror films? I just really enjoy 80s horror films and this is one of my favorites because it's just fun. I love the theme song. I love the kills. I love the like the whole like beach type setting. They're like on the beach and at one point they're um, like running along the beach. There's like a weird scene in the film where they're like playing, I guess, hide and seek. I'm not really sure. To me, that's a little goofy, but <laughs> I guess they had to do something to kind of fill in the time with the film. But yeah, they made it later in 1984. If you haven't checked it out, like I said, you should really check it out. You're missing out on it and get this Arrow video release because it's one of my favorite Arrow video releases. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the Mina Later 1984, like I said, check it out. If um, there is an 80s horror film that you guys want me to review, just comment down below what, you, what 80s horror film you want me to review, and I'll be sure to review it. So in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Thursday.